Okay, guys, you will not believe this battle right now. So, look at this. Look at this. Level 7 versus level 1. Okay? Now, watch this. We got... We... I, it's just... You, you gotta see this to believe it. Now, look at this deck. You can see that Tesla. You can see the cannon. You know what's coming. Dirty Expo. So, now, I've started restricting myself to... I need to just play the defense he's gonna throw a knight coming at us and we're just gonna kind of spam a little bit just get that tesla down get that out of here don't want to see that tesla early just kind of want to ignore it as best i can he's gonna end up actually completely stopping both those troops from getting to his tower and again two minutes 16 seconds in or two minutes 16 seconds left and we are just kind of we went back and forth he got some damage down on this left side tower but we're doing all right we got our prince Ready. He's going to lay a Tesla, though, on the opposite side. And now he's going to have to be using that Knight. Level 6 Knight versus our level 1 Valken, our level 1 Prince. Here it goes, though. Prince is going to get to that tower. Now it's about time we start dealing with this Tesla. Because if I let it sit too long, he's going to drop an Expo behind it. And I'm going to have nothing I can do. So here we go. I'm going to be having to deal soon. He's got that Expo selected. It's ready. I have my Giant Skeleton. And bam, there it goes. And I don't even know what he does here. I, so he does end up continuing with the expo. There it goes down. And here it goes the giant skeleton going forward onto it. And we're going to be fine though. Baby Dragon's going to deal with some of these spear goblins. Get that damage down. Expo only gets off three or four shots on our tower. And that baby dragon's going to get through. So now we got we each got a tower at about half health. And then I got one that is more damage than he does. Again, going to drop that balloon on the Tesla. Just get that out of here. Like, I can't have that protection in front of the expo. And this is the interesting thing. So we had a giant this entire time. He's going to use it now. But if he were to throw it in front of the expo, I could not stop that. Honestly, could not stop it. I, it's even hard to stop that type of a push on my big account. He's got his expo ready to go this time. But I think he's going to go with his arrows to try to deal with the spam. No, he does end up going with the expo. I'm just going to float a balloon over. This is the dumbest strategy. I don't know what he was planning here. Now my prince is about to get through. There goes the balloon doing some damage. And our prince onto the tower. We're going to be taking that down. Or at least should. There it goes. Yep. So baby dragon onto the knight. And we're just. We're in such a good spot. 250 health points left. Now he lays a giant on us. We're going to have to just spam all our troops through this. And luckily for us though. The baby dragon was there to clean up the spam behind. So we're going to be fine. Giant will end up getting through and will end up taking down the tower. I, I saw that one hit point and I was like, oh my goodness, please. Now though, t 10 seconds left. We're going to be pushing really hard on this one side. I should have waited here and dropped the giant skeleton. Again, I'm going, or I, instead I'm going with the Valk. Followed up with some spear goblins. We're going to take down that balloon. And now we have a bunch of stuff going down onto his crown tower. Oh my goodness, you see that counting down really quickly now. And here it goes. Prince doing work. We got that giant skeleton in there. Once he blows up, that only needs 700 damage, and here it goes. You can see it. Do it. Go, go, go. And the bomb is down, and we know we've won. Boom! There it goes. Three crown against an Expo Spammer with a level one before the nerfs happen. How much more of a mic drop do we need right there?